Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my February favorites. So these are all of the products, skincare, clothing items that I have been obsessed with for this entire month. So yeah, if you want to see what I've been into and what I've been loving, then let's just get right into this. So I don't really have a lot of makeup this month, but I do have a lot of like skincare, clothing, accessories, stuff like that. So let's first start off with skincare. So I've actually been obsessing over this Alia Skin Australian Pink Clay Mask. I recently just reviewed this on my channel and this is probably the best face mask I've tried in a while. So it is pink and it is more of a thicker um, mask as you can see right there. How cute is that, right? One thing about it is it really detoxifies and brightens the skin. It really helps with acne prone skin, people with oily skin, people with problematic skin it just really clears out those pores makes your skin feel baby soft when you're done with it and I can definitely see an improvement in my skin after applying it for like two to three times a week it makes the biggest difference so if you guys are interested in that I do have a coupon code for you guys to save some money um, it's just Shelby Sherwood in all caps if you're interested in that so I just thought I would add that in because I've been literally obsessed with it for this entire month I can't stop using it mine's almost gone and I feel like I just got it this is the Sephora exfoliating cleansing cream and this one is in charcoal so it's supposed to purify and detoxify the skin I recently mentioned this in I think a haul and I told you guys I would let you guys know if I like it or not and I definitely do like this I've used about half of it so I definitely have like an opinion on it and this is a really gentle exfoliator but it really gets deep into your pores and you can feel the difference in your skin after using this it leaves your skin feeling really clean not like dried out or anything and it just feels so soft when you're done with this it's amazing it's only four dollars at sephora at least that's what i got it for um and i mean it's just an awesome exfoliator and I actually love the scent of it. I've also been obsessing over this Batiste dry shampoo in the mini bottle. I use this when I go to the gym and I just keep this in my gym bag because I don't feel like carrying around that huge bottle that's like this size in my gym bag. I just throw this in my hair after I'm done at a workout in between classes. My hair feels brand new, it smells good, and it doesn't look greasy. I feel like if you look at this you would think that you would go through it really quickly just because of how tiny it is. But I've honestly used it a good amount of time so far and I'm still a ton in there. So I guess it just depends on how much you put in your hair at the end of the day. But I mean, it's so worth it. And this is in the um, scent Tropical. So it smells so good. Oh my goodness. So when I get out of the shower, I've been moisturizing my skin with this Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. This is not just like a normal, regular body lotion. This is like so moisturizing and it makes your skin look like it has like a really slight glow to it once you apply it onto your skin. So it kind of looks like you applied highlighter onto your skin but like in the most beautiful way ever. It has almond oil and it's for dry to very dry skin. I don't necessarily like the scent of it but the scent goes away after you like rub it into your skin so it takes a few seconds. But it has 21 fluid ounces in it, so this bottle is literally massive. So I use this every single time I get out of the shower, and I'm not even halfway through it. So it takes you a while to go through this bottle, and I don't think it's that expensive either. It's probably like, what, $10 maybe? Okay, so one accessory that I want to mention are these um, Swarovski little diamond earrings. I actually got these for Valentine's Day from my boo thing, <laughs> Thanks, babe. So they're little circles. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but they're circles and then there's tiny, tiny little studs throughout the entire earring. So it's not just one big diamond. It's like a ton of little ones. So when the light hits you at any angle, you always get like a flash of like the diamond. You know what I mean? Like a reflection, which is why I love them so much. I know you guys can't really see like the texture of them and like what they actually look like, but like they're literally so cute i'm obsessed with them and they are in rose gold so they match my necklace that he got me perfectly because that's rose gold as well and i just love these like these are perfect for everyday wear they're not too much but like i just think they're so cute like 
So let's move on to clothing items and then we'll move on to makeup. So the first item that I want to mention are these Fashion Nova jeans. So they are pitch black and the thing that I love about Fashion Nova jeans is they fit so good but they're so comfortable. So I never have to worry about wearing these for a long period of time because I know I won't get uncomfortable in them. So what I love about these is they're like frayed on the bottom so they're not just like that straight um, line they're like frayed so it just gives a little bit extra character to them and on both legs I know you guys aren't going to be able to see this but there's um, little holes there's one on the knee and one above the knee so it's not too many holes but it's like just enough to give it a little extra um, something to them you know what I mean so I just love these and by the way I will link everything down below if you're interested in them or you're just curious and then what I've been loving to work out in are these leggings these are the brand 90 degree leggings um, that's what the logo looks like on the back it's like a girl doing a scorpion I think or something and these are great alternatives to Lululemons. I do have Lululemon leggings and I love them, don't get me wrong. But these are a great alternative for such a cheap price. I get mine at Marshalls because, I mean, that's where I can find them and they're cheaper. So why wouldn't I buy them there? But they range from like $15 to $20 depending if you like the full length ones or the cropped ones. But these are awesome if like you squat or you have a problem with your leggings falling down during your workout. You can't see through these at all and they stretch really nicely but they still have like a firmness to them so it keeps everything in place. You know what I mean? So it doesn't jiggle around and stuff. And they are high-waisted. I know they have regular ones and then high-waisted ones, so whatever you're feeling. But these are like the gray ones. So far I have these gray ones. I have royal blue ones and dark blue ones. Surprising, I don't have a black pair. Okay, and one last clothing item I want to mention is this North Face jacket. So this is for you guys that live in a cold climate like myself. And I just really needed a new jacket because the jacket that I had was not cutting it in this type of snowy weather. So this is what the jacket looks like. So it just has like the North Face emblem right there. And then it is a longer jacket as you can see. So it goes right above my knee and I'm like 5'2", so that's honestly perfect. And I just love the color of it because it's not like a shiny gray, it's more of like that matte gray. It is pretty expensive, but I say it's totally worth it. I would try to just catch it on a sale if you're interested. So yeah. I just love it. It has two side pockets. It has a zipper and then it has buttons too to kind of keep the wind out. And it does have a hood and it is detachable as you can see right there. So that's really cool. You can like switch it up a little bit if it's snowing, if it's not snowing, whatever you're feeling that day. This month I haven't really tried out a lot of makeup products. I've kind of just been busy with school and just other things, I guess. But one thing that I did try out was this LA Colors Truly Matte um, foundation, and I absolutely love this. This is like one of my new favorite foundations, and this is only $6. Isn't that insane? So I just love the coverage of it. I love the finish. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. I love how it's more of a matte foundation, but it has a little bit of a glow to it. So it's like a natural finish. So it's not too matte. It's not too luminous. It's just that perfect foundation. And I love the way it makes my skin feel and look. It just... Oh my god, it airbrushes your skin so well, it's like, whoa. And it comes in 1.35 fluid ounces, so that's a lot of foundation. And then another product that I've been recently obsessing over again, I kind of forgot about this, but this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Looks like this. I have the shade of Fair Light. Um, I could go one shade lighter, but I mean, this one works for right now. This is such a finely milled powder, and it just melts into the skin. It doesn't necessarily make you look powdery if you're setting your face with it. It just makes you look very airbrushed and just really flawless. So that's what I love about this. I'm not sure if it gives flashback. I have not tried that, but I will in the future to let you guys know. So yeah. Those are all of my February favorites. I hope you guys weren't disappointed in not having a lot of beauty favorites, but I mean, what are we going to do? So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I would appreciate it so much. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. Mm -hmm.